wanted to finish up a topic, um, 5.5, that we were talking about. Binomial distribution. Okay, so the binomial distribution, this is a discrete distribution. Discrete, meaning that I can count like x equal 1, 2, 3, and so on. Can't catch 2.3 fish. Right? Does that even make sense? Nope. Okay. That would be more of a continuous random variable. So, with the normal distribution used to represent the binomial, I'm taking something that's continuous And I'm using that to represent something that's discrete. These are two completely different things, okay? So if I was gonna calculate the probability that maybe x equal two, all right, for a discrete, so let me just draw a little picture. So maybe I have a discrete distribution Looks like this, so maybe zero successes, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. And then maybe I've got my continuous, that's my normal approximation, and it looks something like this here. Now, if I was gonna calculate the probability that x was equal to two here, well, I would go right here for my continuous, which is in red, and I say, what's the probability that x equals two at that exact point? Well, remember, probability equals area, but the area at a single point, that's equal to zero. So my probability is roughly zero. But when I'm looking at something that's discrete, the probability that x equals two I clearly see that this rectangle has a non-zero probability. You know, maybe that probability there is really like, who knows, maybe it's like, you know, 15%. Okay, so you can see from that picture, yeah, it looks like there is a chance you can get x equal to two successes. So how do we account for this? This is what's known as the continuity correction. Continuity correction. Okay, so what does a continuity correction do? When I'm looking at the continuous, okay, and I'm gonna use that to approximate my discrete binomial, what I do instead of looking at a single point x equal to two, I go out a little bit to the right and I go out a little bit to the left. How far do I go out each way? I go out a half. So I go from 2.5 this way and 1.5 this way. So my probability that x equals two becomes the probability that x is between two values. What two values? Between that 1.5 and 2.5. And this is the continuity correction here at a single value, all right? Now say I had the same type of problem and I have like a continuity correction. Let's say, let's just make up another one. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So your picture doesn't have to be perfect, All right? So say I wanna calculate the probability that x is less than or equal to three. All right, well what's less than or equal to three? Well, less than or equal to three, 
Those are all numbers that are smaller than three or equal to three. Okay, one thing that can help you out as long as your variable is first, this kind of points in the correct direction. So mark here at the three, and which am I shading? I'm shading to the left, just like that. Okay. Now, there's an issue. There's an issue here. What's the problem? Okay. We're getting half of this little rectangle that has a three, but I want all of it. So what do I need to do? I need to also shade in the direction that I haven't shaded yet. So which way is that? For this particular one, it's to the right. So I also need to pick up this part over here so that I get everything that's in three also. So what does it become? I move over a half, so that goes to 3.5. So the continuity correction is x less than or equal to 3.5. That way we get everything in x equals zero, one, two, and three. Okay, so it's, it's everything in those right there. All right? Now, do another one just to make sure we're all on the same page. Say I have, you know, zero, one, two, three, four. Let's do a continuity correction. And let's do, let's find the probability that x is greater than two, okay, greater than two. So if it's discrete, greater than two, if I said I caught more than two fish, how many fish did I catch? I caught three fish, four fish, five fish, more than two. So the first one that I'm gonna have is three, then I could have four, and then however many successes it goes out to. Okay, so this actually becomes probability that x is greater than or equal to three. Okay, so because we're dealing with discrete, the little bar underneath here that tells us that it's equal to, that's actually important now when you're dealing with a discrete versus a continuous. Okay, so we need to convert it so where we have the equal sign underneath the inequality before we do the continuity correction. Okay, so x greater than two, that's gonna be three and four. Okay, so three and four, All right? Now the problem, the problem arises because we didn't get all of three. So how do I get all of three? I shade in the direction I haven't shaded yet, okay? So that pushes it out to what? 2.5. So the continuity correction is x greater than or equal to 2.5. I cannot stress enough the importance of drawing this picture here to help you get this continuity correction correctly, okay? All right, cool. So I've got one example, and this will end it for 5.5. And this example, it's a word problem. A study on aggressive driving found that 47% of drivers say they yelled at another driver. Randomly select 100 drivers. What is the probability that no more than 50 drivers will say they yelled at another driver? Okay. And we're going to work this one in a different video.